What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time with us, welcome to our 1988 Scamp Travel Trailer. Uh, we custom built it for full-time off-grid living and boondocking. Uh, over here is my beautiful girlfriend Andrea, making jewelry as usual. And this is Zeus. Uh, but in today's video, I wanted to take you guys through some of the main reasons why a travel trailer is the best choice for off-grid living. Now I want to start by clarifying that this video is really meant for those looking to get off the grid and kind of live among more remote locations while boondocking like we do. It's not really meant for those who are looking to do the traditional camping of kind of campground to campground. Before we started our journey, we did look into other vehicles like vans and buses and even like shuttle buses and things as our living space. Uh, but ultimately we came into the decision of buying a travel trailer. and. Having the travel trailer, what it really comes down to is the ability to detach. So to be able to detach your living space from your vehicle is an amazing aspect of living in a travel trailer because it's pretty much like having a home. It really is your home on wheels. So if you go out to places like National Forest or BLM land, you can detach your trailer in one place and leave it there for two weeks at a time. Uh, and that's amazing because it really does feel like home base and you can take your vehicle to and from town while running errands and doing the things you need to do. That one simple aspect of detachability has so many advantages. Uh, for example, one of the biggest reasons I'm glad I have a travel trailer is that I meet people all the time who boondock with a van and uh, they either get their spot stolen or they get their campsite gear stolen when they have to go to town uh, or they have to leave somebody at the campsite without a living space and they have to run to town. So having that simple uh, sturdy home base of a travel trailer always there you don't have to worry about someone swooping in and snagging your spot which is a very big reality especially in the summertime campsites can get packed even the ones that are out in the middle of nowhere uh, people will swoop in and they'll take your site they don't really care if there's a tent there or a chair there that you left behind they might even steal it while they're at it so we like having the entire home base set up and just kind of feels more secure and if one of us needs to run to town, but the other might take advantage of being able to stay here, like Andrea's doing jewelry, if I need to go and upload a video to YouTube, I can go to town for a few hours and Andrea can still be productive back here at home. Now in the near future, we do plan on investing in a signal booster just to get rid of that problem. Uh, I only have to go to town to upload videos because I don't have Wi-Fi out here with my laptop to do editing and things like that. So. That would be a great investment for us to maximize our efficiency a little bit more. Uh, but for now, I am taking trips to town, so we cram as many chores into that trip as possible. Uh, Andrea will come with me sometimes, sometimes she'll stay behind to work on jewelry. Uh, but we'll do laundry, go grocery shopping, go to the post office. Whatever we need to do, we try to cram it into one trip to be more efficient. And I think another thing to consider with something like a travel trailer over something like a van is that there is a little bit more space. You're not quite as crammed. Uh, so you do have an external vehicle to use for storage and things as well and you've got a little bit more of a larger living space which if you're doing it full time you're gonna want that little bit of extra room you don't want to be in too tiny of a spot some people can do it god bless you that's amazing that's not for us we needed a little bit of extra space because we have a large dog and two people so we weren't gonna do it in a tiny little van it just didn't seem like it would be fun for us and we built a fully customized Scamp Travel Trailer. So it still kind of has the same basic layout as even the new Scamp Travel Trailers. Uh, it's got all the same general things in same places, but we were able to customize it completely for full-time living and exactly what we wanted, like the wood stove over there. I think the Scamp was probably one of the harder travel trailers to customize, just because it is an egg-shaped fiberglass camper. So that rounded corners was really hard to work with. I put in all new two millimeter plywood walls with uh, two layers of Reflectix and a half inch air gap between them. So we're really well insulated in here and we can pretty much adjust the temperature down to five degrees whenever we want to now that we have the wood stove. Uh, but also converting it to off grid was pretty simple. We ripped out all the electronics that used to be hooked up to the campgrounds and uh, just threw in an electronic system. 215 amp hour AGM battery. Uh, we had a folding solar panel that somebody stole a few weeks ago in Florida, if you've seen the last few videos. And uh, now we are upgrading to 200 watts of solar power where we only had 120 before. And if you are looking for some great solar information, you should definitely check out Will Prouse on YouTube. I'll leave the link to his videos in the description, but he's got a great way of explaining 
to the beginners and the experts how a solar system works. If you're starting your journey on a budget like we were, uh, you can click on this video right up here and that'll take you to our more detailed breakdown of what it took for us cost-wise to buy the travel trailer and to customize it into a full-time off-grid living space. So I hope that this video gave you guys a little bit of a better idea on why a travel trailer has so many advantages for off-grid living and boondocking. Uh, a van or a bus might still work better for your specific lifestyle, but if the lifestyle that you're aiming for is kind of what we're doing, I think a travel trailer is honestly the best option. But thank you guys for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please remember to click like and subscribe on the channel to keep up with more videos like it and our personal journey as well. Thank you guys for watching and take it easy.